Okay, so now we're at the Hudson Elephant Hospital or Elephant Home. Um, it's a foundation. Here it is here. It's got a stick for excellence on TripAdvisor. What we're going to do now is we're going to go have a walk around, meet the elephants and um, see what happens then. Wish me luck. <laughs> we got one coming now. Say, so, how old, what's this one's name? Pun one. 52 years old. And you're 52? Yeah. yeah. Big girl. girl. And we call her Smiler. Because she's Hello. Smiling. Hey, how are you? Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Sweaty takes care of her. He's her main hoot. And uh, she was rescued um, a couple of years ago. Unfortunately, she had fallen down a ditch and hurt her back right leg. Yeah. Um, so we still have to keep her moving. Otherwise, um, it will seize up. But she's a oh, gentle she's... old soul. Changbia, there you go. There's two for you. Yeah, yeah, that, I can see that. See, you see how she swings her leg out there. Yeah. When she, when she first comes, she's just. Is there any? She's is, like, she's like, oh. Does anyone know why she, why it's happened? No, apparently no. all we were told was that she slipped down a ditch. Okay, right. So, she likes a big tree, does she? Oh, they all love that tree. Oh, really? Wonder why, isn't it? It's just a scratching tree. It used to be a mango tree. Oh, they, they scratch. Like they scratch up against yeah. it, do they? <laughs> But they like having a good old scratch. Oh, they're scratched up against the trunk. Oh, she said that's good. Oh, she loves that, doesn't she? Oh, Behind the ears. This is the food. This is yeah, just her food. food yeah. Between six and eight times a day. Six to eight times a day. What are these? Yeah. And what have you got in here? You've got like well, um. Banana tree slice, really thinly. Banana You've got tree slice. Pumpkin. Watermelon. Uh, watermelon. They can have. You got some pellets here. Bumpers. That's yeah. like the um. This is the pellets. Yeah. That's it's a just min gives her a bit of bulk. Yeah. Yeah. It's and like a protein, she, is it? Yeah, like protein. Yeah. And that's because she has no so teeth. So she has five or six of these a day? Yeah. Wow. And because she has no teeth, yeah. the enzyme in that will break the food down in okay. her tummy. Oh, this is the one with the one tooth? Yeah. yeah. And boom me, our male, he's only got one tooth, so okay. he's on the special feed as well. Right, okay. Yeah. So basically, she's... Um, and how long will it take her to eat that? Probably about what? 45 to 50 minutes. Okay, 45 to 50 minutes. Yeah, Why? Why? Uh, when she first came here, she yeah. used to be really food so she'll go to hit you. Oh, really? And we think what it was, um, she was basically, every it's time territorial. she food, she was sent out on another trek again. Okay, so she, she never got a chance to feed. Yeah, right. So her only way of getting it was being aggressive. Yeah. But now, she's, she's realised it. And it's like, everybody loves me here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm not going to, no one's going to hurt me. Yeah. Um, and so she can just go at her own pace. Age. She's nearly 70, she's nearly 70, and um, he takes care of her. And she's a salt shield, so right. she's totally blind in her right eye. So, so, she's, so this one's blind in her right yeah, eye? The right eye's total, this is only 30%. Yeah. So when, you talk, when you talk to her and feed her, yeah. you've got to be very, very calm. Yeah, right. She goes, she goes out on walks, yeah. and it's always on the left side. Yeah. But she is so she's, she's got 30% like, vision in her left eye? Yeah. yeah. Like, like her tongue, is it? <laughs> yeah, I gotta watch them, don't I? They're all females. I gotta really gotta watch them. Without walking, you would stick that butter with it out in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Um, but when... she, is, she is the protector of our herd. Yeah. Any signs of problems, she'll be the first. She's the one that organises them all. Exactly. She'll yeah. be the one to sort everybody out. Yeah, right. She's totally in love with Bumi. This is her boyfriend. What? So what? What she's doing now is whipping herself. Yeah. What's that for? Uh, just Basically because she, she, thought she doesn't want to put it all in her mouth, she's just stripping it. It's kind of just like, yeah, it breaks it up a bit. What happened to her tusk there? Uh, to his tusk, um, basically about four years ago, someone come in at night in the night field, because they're only here in the day. Yeah, oh, so they only chained up here during the day? Yeah, yeah. and they're in the night field where yes. they can socialise. So they get to walk around there, around out there? Yeah, yeah. they sedated him. Um, they sedated him? For a tranquilizer? Yeah, um, yeah. and basically... Light on, who's next door, was obviously kicking this one here. There was danger coming. Yeah. Um, to shut her up, they burnt her tail. Oh. In a way, they were kind to him because they only took the tips off. Yeah, right. Now, 
the tusk forms part of the upper lip, so it goes underneath. You see where you, you can just see the skin, yeah. but it actually forms part of the upper lip. Yeah. Now, when poachers come in, they normally go right to that point. Yeah, right. So, so they get the whole lot. leaves a big hole. And it can get affected. Yeah. yeah. So in a way, they were... So, so what would they use to chop that off? Uh, probably a saw. Like a hacksaw or something? Yeah. And, and what, it's very, very traumatised, and, we did find out who did it. It was a previous main who we used to take care of him. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, he had a lot of mental problems. Yeah. Um, and he needed money, and that was his excuse for doing it. And did he get prosecuted? Yes, or? He yeah, he's in jail, is he? I think so, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. And so what would he normally get for those tusks? Get an idea? No idea. idea. They are worth, ivory is worth millions. Oh, really? Yeah. So he would have got maybe he one or two million bucks? Quite a lot of money. Right. Yeah. What's this one's name? Tongcam. A oh, Swiss guy brought her. She's, our and She's a little short and some fattest. A little fatty, aren't you? She's only ever worked on a farm. Yeah, I so said she was a logger. Yeah. yeah, no, she's never worked in the logging industry. Okay, she's yeah. On a farm. What, like digging trenches she, and. She had a really bad leg infection on her, on her, on her leg and her foot. The farmer actually asked us if we could help. We said okay, yes. so that's good of him to do that. So we bought her here. Yeah. She had a month with us. Then he yeah. phoned up and said, um, can I have her back because I need help? Yeah. He said, it's not healed. He said, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, really? But a week later, he said she's gone lame. So we had to bring her back. And then he said, I can't afford to keep her anymore. So that's when we found So her. Chris is a Switzerland guy? Yes, he is. He, he comes over about, he used to have business in Bangkok. So yeah. does a small bit. Yeah. And he brought her, did he? Yeah, and do you mind, how much does an elephant normally go for? Uh, well, Songkran, our youngest, yeah. um, she was, she, in English money, she cost us about £20,000. About 30000 Australian, I think, yeah. yeah. About one million baht, is it? Sorry? Just over one million baht, yeah. yeah. That was very nice of him to do that. that could potentially come here, yeah. and they're asking 800000 baht for her. She's right. 13 years old. Have you got room for her? We have now. Yeah, then. yeah. Oh, oh right, of course, yeah. You would have loved her, John. Yeah, right. So that's where the one that's previously yeah, and, uh, poor thing makes you sad, doesn't it? You know, we, you know, we only give her two weeks to live. She was in the rough state, bless her Oh, you would have been devastated, I'm sure. Oh, it's been quite hard, yeah. 11 years spending time with an animal. <laughs> I know, trust me, I've had dogs. <laughs> There's nothing worse. I oh, just got the sweet corn there. Oh yeah, okay, right. So that's when she's being good, you can find her. Oranges, she loves all that. But her favourite is oranges. So you work here what five days a week? Yeah, I, I'm, at the minute I'm going to be doing six. Six days a week. Wow. It's so um, an amazing thing what you do. Yeah, because we've got the new teacher starting, yeah. so I have to make. Sure and could you could you think of anything else that if you like what else would you be doing? If you, There's only so many times you can clean your house. Yeah, yeah, well that's right. <laughs> well, I don't even clean mine, so. And I love the beach, but not all the time. No. <laughs> no, it's a very good thing that you do, especially six days a week. Yeah. yeah, you can see those little tusks there. They'll stay for about, um, that's as big as they'll grow. Hello, Jackie. Okay, hello. So, so, you're, so you'll look after Songgrand? Yeah, okay. Oh, you got a big job, I think. Good. She's very naughty, yeah. Good. From what I hear. Okay. Yeah. Very yeah. Naughty. Okay. yeah. Yeah. You get the bad one. This is Cozy. She's the head of your head of volunteer of the park. Uh, not really. No. I'm just. No? I'm just. I'm the senior volunteer. The senior sense. volunteer. Yeah. Okay. I've just uh, been here the longest. And how long have you been here for? Eleven years. And what brought you here? Uh, basically, my husband and I did a bucket list. Um, we ended up buying a house. Um, we both started to learn to play golf. It was not for me at all. Uh, I drove past here every day. My husband said, go in and see if they want volunteers. Um, and 11 years on, I'm still here. Yeah, wow. Uh, amazing. God, you, did you get um, a gold watch in 10 years? <laughs> no, probably just like be given a mango or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah. Um, Thailand is a very beautiful country. Yeah. Um, it's not easy, as most people will experience. Um, but I'm very fortunate, we are very fortunate as a team that we uh, have a, quite a good boss, very good boss in fact. Um, we work very, very well with him, but it's all about education yeah. and uh, that is definitely the way forward. The logging industry, like, tell me a bit about that, is that still pretty much common? No, not really, it's nearly diminished now within Thailand. Yeah. So a lot of the domesticated elephants within Thailand um, needed jobs. Yeah. Because the elephant is obviously uh, normally owned by the family, and the family needs to earn money. Yeah. Um, of course, now that that sort of area is nearly diminished, 
there was all these elephants with no work. Yeah. So obviously different sort of places opened up. I mean, you've got a beautiful place up north, Elephant Nature Park. You've got yeah. fantastic. I've actually been to Elephant Nature Park. I've volunteered there for 10, day, 10 days before when I first moved to Thailand. And it's an amazing yeah. organisation. Um, and you know, and, and you're, you're basically taking them back to how they should be. Yeah. Now, with us here, obviously, we're, I always say we're in the middle of Huahin. Yeah. We've got Phuket down the bottom. And yeah. they've got Phuket Elephant Sanctuary, which again is another amazing facility. Now, um, in the middle is us. Um, we would like to aspire to something like... Um, uh, Elephant Nature Park yeah. because this land that we are on at the minute uh, we don't actually own yeah. and it is not secure Right. so therefore at the minute we still have to um, chain our elephants which we don't really want to do No. but we have to do you just haven't got safety. the land unfortunately exactly. yeah. so the friends of the foundation which is us, the volunteers are working really hard to try and f raise funds to purchase at least about 70 acres of land Right. Okay. Um, and would that be in Waihin? It would have to be, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, because obviously our boss has still got a very big connection with us. Yeah. Um, but that's what we would like to do. Yeah. Uh, whereby they can be in a secure area where they can roam free. They can go and have a wash if they want to. Yeah. You know, something then, like the Elephant Nature Park in exactly, Chiang Mai. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, here, all of the activities that are on our website are, are have all been implemented by the friends, and yeah. they are designed to be a bit more elephant friendly. Yeah. As of the 1st of October this year, there is no more trekking going to be offered. So no more riding? No. Nope. Yeah. Um, now, we, we don't actually advertise that at the minute yeah. because we spoke to our boss last year and said it has to stop. Yeah. He has finally agreed to stop it. Yeah. Um, we do, off, however, offer a bareback ride that's one person, yeah. which sits on a big blanket. Okay, but it's no, no saddles or... Nothing like yeah. that. Okay, no. well, that's a good um, And we offer a walking activity. Yeah. And we also do an education activity, which we actually started up last year. Okay. Songkran was still performing a small show. We stopped that. Yeah. What kind um, of show was she performing? She was doing like stupid tricks. Like, oh, like dancing. Like you see them in, like they used to have them in Bangkok. They'd be like dancing yeah. out in front of nightclubs. Yeah. And, and, you know, and she's... She was getting stressed because she's being forced to do something yeah, she doesn't want to do. And Mayhoot was getting stressed because, because yeah. she's getting a big girl. I have actually watched the documentary on how they break them in. Yeah, it's um, really sad. I watched that up at the Elephant Nature Park in Chiang Mai when I first moved mm. here. And it was, I had to walk out of the theatre. Yeah, it was, um, uh, it was so depressing. Um, I'll, I'll leave a link for anyone that's watching this vlog now that would like to... Um, to I, I have seen a video on YouTube how it does show how they do break elephants in. Um, please look at it, um, but please be aware that it isn't very nice to look at. So, um, but I'll leave the link for that on how they break elephants in when they're a baby, and um, you can go have a look at that. So, tell us a bit about the how many elephants do you have here? Um, we we used to have seven. We've now only just got six. Yeah. Unfortunately, one of our very old ladies passed away about three weeks ago. Oh, that's cool. um, we rescued her in 2009. Uh, very emaciated, very neglected from just down the road um, and we really realistically only give her two weeks to live um, but we give her the best eight years of her life. Oh she stayed for eight years and she was yeah, only given two and, weeks to live. Uh, we, her, her name was Run Roy, my mum nicknamed her the Duchess because quite rightly she was. Yeah. Um, she's actually buried here, um, still a little bit raw for us all at the minute but she was really our inspiration yeah, um, right. and it just goes to show that you can look after and take care of these gentle giants. So the elephants that you rescue here, are they working elephants? Are they? Yeah, most of them have been in, uh, used in the logging industry. Yeah. Um, we've got two that actually haven't, which was uh, Songkran and Tonkam. Tonkam's only ever worked on a farm. Uh, the farmer actually approached us because he needed help because she had a leg injury, yeah. uh, which was a real positive sign for us that they actually approached us. Yeah. Um, but she's now actually owned by a Swiss gentleman and our boss. Oh, he purchased her and donated it yes, to the... Yes, right, yeah. yeah. And also uh, Songkran, she's been with us since she was three years old. Um, so she's never been in the logging industry, obviously. Yeah. Um, but she's actually owned by four Danish people and one Thai person. Right. Um, and which is very fortunate, they have holiday homes here. So we had them in this last week, actually. They came back to see us. Okay. So the whole family always pops in to see how she's getting on. Okay. And she is nine years old now. She's getting a big girl. Yeah. So, uh, but she's a typical nine-year-old child. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit dangerous, actually, isn't it? It is, yeah. If Especially at that yeah, weight. Yeah, exactly. About one and a half tons, yeah. <laughs> How many visitors do you get a day here? Daily. We, even though we're quite small, um, 
funny enough, we actually get quite a lot of visitors. So say probably in a day we could have up between 60 and 100. Yeah. Which is quite a lot for us. And they are all nearly choosing the walking activity or they do a Mayhoot experience, yeah. which is three hours. Um, or they come and look at the education program. Yeah. Now, the volunteers are only here five days a week. Okay. But as of next week, there will be six days a week. Yeah. And the education program will be run on Saturdays and also obviously the walking activity. So we will ha also have, um, it's a group of teachers that are volunteered to come in and help us. Okay, right. So their school will be coming here once a month yeah. to do education as well. Yeah. So we're trying to get them at a young age. Yeah. Um, so for us, it's a massive step also. Um, you know, Johnny, in 11 years, I've seen a lot. Yeah, I'm sure I you have. I do feel now that we are breaking the back of it. Yeah, and trying to get, there's, a, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. There is, and it, it's still quite, um, you know, be patient, be patient. That's all you have to be. Well, yeah, these, these, <laughs> these kind of things don't happen overnight, no. unfortunately. Like there's, you know, there's so many people that are so used to what, you know, like it's, it's but it's so good to hear that logging has been phased out of yeah. the Thailand now. Uh, yeah. And it should be like this certain of age is bulldozers. There's, you know, I mean, we've got high, high, big machinery and stuff to do all that. But, yeah. but back in the day, elephants is all, all that they had really, wasn't it? Exactly. So that's all they had, and it's like I say to people when we're giving them education and walking, it's it's not sometimes these people don't know how to do anything different yeah. because it's been going on for generations. Yeah, well, that's right. And this is where the education bit gets in, and yeah, and I do believe you know that like it isn't the tyres' fault. That it's all, not. No. It's because it's a generation thing. But you know, our main hoops. You know, they are they are all learning. Yes, sometimes with resistance, but they're realizing this is a better way of doing things. Yeah, absolutely. If you keep, if you look after your elephant, you know, if you take care, people see this. Yeah. If you are in any way cruel, you are dismissed straight away. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, and um, you know, it's taking no, a long so it time. should be. Like, so is, is it true what they say? Elephants don't forget. Never. No. They never forget. Yeah. When I, I used to do um, six months at home, six months here, because obviously I have to work. Yeah. And I always think, oh, I wonder if they remember me. <laughs> yeah, right. So I, dri I drive up and I just step out of the car and they all t and I speak and then I have to go up and all of a sudden it's like, <gasps> she's here. Yeah, you know? right. But it's only for the treats, John. It's for yeah, nothing yeah, yeah, no, yeah, the, <laughs> the greedy things, the guts, they eat exactly. everything. Exactly. It's for nothing else. No, no, they just want the food. Exactly. And um, so it's open what seven days a week? Seven days a week. Uh, open from nine to about half past four, quarter to five. Yeah. Um, and uh, volunteers will now be here from Monday to Saturday. Yeah. Uh, which is a massive bonus from for, for the friends. Uh, perspective and also for the Thai team's perspective, it yeah. just helped them. Okay, yeah. Um, so, but, so people that are watching this blog now, like if they don't, if they say they're on holidays, I know a lot of people, a lot of my viewers actually come to work in, you know, three or six months of the year, and they stay back in the home country. Um, are they allowed, Would they be able to come here and volunteer? Yes, they can. They can contact on email. If they go on our website, the volunteering emails on there. Yeah. Um, Jan's the coordinator, so she'll be able to okay. tell them what uh, days. And how about how does how does the working visa thing go there? Um, basically, if you've got a working visa, you can only work for that company that's employed you. Now, what we're doing here at the minute is we are setting up a volunteering visa. We've got everybody who's volunteering. Yeah. The boss is sorting that out now, so that will be in the office. So, so you can actually do a volunteering, like like an educational visa. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. how many days? A week would you have to do that? Um, you have to do at least five days. Five because days it's a week. quite a lot we have to teach you. Yeah, right. It's not like taking a dog for a walk. No. <laughs> no I, can, I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a two ton bloody animal. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we asked for a minimum of a week. Okay, you know, so, so if anyone that is watching that would like an opportunity to come to Thailand, um, they, they organise your visa for you, but you will have to work five days a week. Um, if you want to get those details, I'll have the details in the description. And um, so that's pretty much about it. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Yeah, I would actually. Uh, yeah. If anybody, anybody at all yeah. can help us in this uh, assistance of getting land within Hua Hin, please, please contact. Um, give you give Johnny my email. Yeah, personally. okay. Um, even if it could be a sponsor, sponsor part, they could sponsor one rye. Yeah. Now, uh, 25 rye is approximately nine acres. Okay, yeah. We're going to need a bit more than that. So, how many acres did you say you need? About 20, um, 70? We're going to need about 70. Okay. So because we have to think long term, um, because obviously there will be more elephants that we'll probably have to rescue. See, the land here, I'm sure, would be 
getting them pretty worth a fortune now, wouldn't it? It's a fortune yeah. because it's near a town. Yeah. Um, you know, but again, it's not on mains water and there's no electric. Okay, so you told me before this isn't the, this property here isn't on mains water. So you're getting water trucks in, hey? Yeah, we've got a fire truck that we have to go out probably between two and three times a day. Really? That much got, water? We've got, we've got water tanks underneath the ground that we yeah, have right. because they do, they can drink between 70 and 200 litres of water a day depending. Shit. So you've got Showering five water them. trucks a day coming in? Well, it's, we've only got one but he's going out. Yeah. He'll check the tank, I need to go out again. Do you take cash donations? Yes, we yeah. do. We go online yeah. or they can bring us cash in Okay. and there's a donation box inside the okay. office. Or you can come in, you can spend a day here with your family or something and that's yeah, still, you know. Yeah, they can come and they can know. walk around. Whatever they spend at the door, there's no entrance fee here. No, nah. it's they, just your programs at you. If they don't want to do an activity and yeah. they just want to feed, they can buy 100 baht of bananas. That all goes back. Oh, right. Okay. So, yeah. you know, we, there's no pressure here at no. all. No. Okay, cool. You know? Okay, so there we go. That was a very good little chat, wasn't it? For myself, actually. You made these? I do. I make cakes every week for the volunteers. Oh, oh really? Very nice, Jackie, aren't Oh, they? what is it? A cupcake? Yeah. With and you made these? Cream cheese frosting. <laughs> cream cheese frosting. Yeah. It's alright, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> you. Mm. You're the last one. Oh, beautiful. Right? Hello, that's right. How are you? Yeah, you and you're the owner, you do a very good job here. Yeah. Very good job. <laughs> okay, so what's all this about? Thank you very much. It's lovely to meet you, John. And, um, and uh, I'll uh, say if, see you soon, guys. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll maybe come and do a few days here. Yay! So, so, um, but if you're here, if you're in Waihin, please come and visit. It's an amazing opportunity to. You know, to, um, to see the elephants and have a look at what's going on. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a nice one. Oh, you haven't got the snake watch on today. He loves your... Hey, where's that? All right, I'll see you later. Okay, I'll see you later. Take care. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Oh, wow, that's an... Is that... Gold. Is that real gold? Okay. Is that real? Okay. Wow. Mm. Is that real? Yeah. Real? It is real. Real gold. All right, see you later. Bye. <laughs> bye. 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 See you later. Thank you very much. Sweaty cup. We'll see you soon. Take care. Okay, good job. Bye bye. Okay, so that's the Elephant Foundation. Um, so please, if you're in Waihin, please come down and have a look. It's excellent. You can, you can spend a good half a day here, one day here. If you want, you can come and work here. So, um, it's up to you. So um, I've got so much editing to do. I'm going to wrap this up vlog up now and um, hope you all and we'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.